So the last time you saw us, we were in Hualien. We're now in Taichung. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. As you know, we're traveling Taiwan on quite a tight budget and because of that, we've been eating at 7-Eleven at least once a day since we've arrived here. So what we're gonna do today is take you to 7-Eleven with us for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we're at the first 7-Eleven. Looks like a pretty big one. We haven't been to this one before. It's not normal how excited I get when we come to 7-Eleven. <laughs> As you can see, they literally do everything. They've got toasties, sandwiches, a ton of different drinks. And then they've got these like meals that you can heat up and the staff will actually heat them up for you in the microwave. So they've got microwaves uh, and a hot counter where you can fill up like ramen bowls. There is literally so many options. There's like every sandwich filling that you could think of. Would it be weird to get a blueberry and cheese sandwich for breakfast? Yes, we've got 7-Eleven. <laughs> I'm so tempted. Get a great one. Yeah. This looks like some sort of yogurt jelly drink. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to give it a go. Ready to drink vinegar. Go for a cold coffee. They've got so many teas and coffees in the fridges. But they've also got them hot at the counter that you can order and they'll make them for you fresh. So these are tea stained eggs. Before the eggs are cooked, they're cracked and then placed in this to basically marinate with it with the tea. And it gives the eggs like a really sweet, I guess herbally flavour. Wow, the smell coming off is so good. The most random breakfast haul. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try this blueberry sandwich. It smells amazing. Mm. It's like blueberry jam, but like really authentic fruit smell. <laughs> it says blueberry cheese on the packet, but it's not really a cheese. It's like a buttercream. It's not savory at all. I really like that. Also, I'm gonna sound like a big kid, but I love that the sandwiches here don't have any crusts and the bread is like heavenly soft. It's so nice. It's like a grape juice, but it's got bits of jelly in it. So it's a really strange texture when you're drinking it. It's like drinking a jelly, it's really weird, but I like it. Right, should we give the tea stained eggs a try? Yeah. So Jamie's eaten these before, but I've Never had a tea stained egg from 7-Eleven. Had them, I think, I think that's what they usually serve you in like ramen, isn't it? It's slightly sweet, definitely tastes the tea. It's amazing as well because it's gone right through the white. And even a little bit the yolk, I feel like the yolk's got a different flavor and it could be the tea. That's absolutely delicious, I love it. All right, next up, I'm gonna try this pork rice ball. So they heat this up in the microwave for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's almost like a onigiri rice ball. And then it's got a layer of sauce. I think maybe a soy barbecue based sauce. And then a few slices of pork. They kind of look like pork belly. And then seaweed wrapped around it as well. So. Mm. Okay, there's like a ton of pork stuffed inside it. This is really good. Really, really good. Even the fat on the pork, which usually I wouldn't be a huge fan of. It's so juicy and tender. There's a lot of flavor in this. It's so nice. Wanna try some? Yeah. Wow. That's so good. This is the thing about 7-Eleven. The fact that you're getting char show of that quality in a convenience store, like, Okay, so these are nothing new. <laughs> I've been eating one of these every single day. I've never had the strawberry one, and it is strawberry season here in 7-Eleven, so you'll find a lot of like strawberry flavored items, which we're gonna try more of later. But yeah, for now, we'll try the other. Oh. I know this is probably considered a hate crime, but I am about to eat a yogurt with a ramen spoon. <laughs> Don't judge me, the little ones they give you are just frustrating, anyway. Oh, 
oh, it just makes me so happy. It's full of these like hard jelly squares. Just so delicious. It's honestly like a dessert. The thing I find most overwhelming about 7-Eleven is the amount of drink options. Every time I come in here, I want to buy like four or five drinks. Just, there's just so many options. I got a fresh roasted hazelnut latte. I just... That's tasty. Well, I'm fairly full after that. I think I could have eaten more, but I don't want to take it too far. What was your favourite thing? My favourite thing was probably the tea stain bag. I was gonna say that. <laughs> the tea stain bags are so good. Yeah, there's thousands of 7-Elevens in Thailand, Taiwan, Japan. They're on every street. Like, Sometimes two, three on the same street. Yeah, you're never better than like 100 meters away from a 7-Eleven. And I don't know if you said this, but you get a lot of families sitting around and eating the meals there as well. It's just very convenient for them. So it's like a way of life here, more than just your, your average shop. Right, we're just heading back to the hotel for a couple of hours and then we're going to come back out for some lunch. So we've got a bit of work done, we're going to go out for some lunch now. So we're going to head to a different 7-Eleven than the one this morning. It's a little bit closer, it's a little bit smaller. Let's see what they've got. Really hoping they've got the sweet potatoes because we've been seeing them in most 7-Elevens, but they don't always have them. Um, but we really want to try one. Yes, they are strawberry souffle crisps. <laughs> We're heading to a different 7-Eleven because they didn't have the sweet potatoes. We're really determined to try these sweet potatoes, aren't we? Luckily, the next one's only like a minute away, so... Yeah. We can't find the potatoes, but we're just going to get some bells anyway. All this fridge selection. Yeah. You can get bao buns, veg chicken nuggets, and these are really reasonably priced. Oh my gosh, dumplings. I think we're gonna grab some dumplings, aren't we? Yeah. So we saw these earlier, and we decided we were gonna get some, so they're just soup dumplings. And I think you just might wave them, so we're gonna get these, and we're gonna get some gyoza. It says cooked pork dumplings. Well, we can get two types of dumplings, right? Yeah, why not? Why not? Anything else you like to look up? I'm gonna get a onigiri. Oh yes. Pork floss. Sounds interesting. Mm. So we've been eyeing up these packets for ages, and it's basically just fried chicken. You can also get like fresh beef and pork noodles, but we're gonna go for these. So it's the Korean style fried chicken. So. Add that to the pile. <laughs> this is definitely too much for lunch. <laughs> it has to be said that we wouldn't usually get this amount of food in a day. In fact, we're not really lunch people. We usually have a late breakfast and then a big dinner. Pricing wise, this is probably spending a little bit more than usual, aren't we? Yeah. But we just want to try, you know, all the foods. And we're not doing anything else today, so the budget's allowing for it. So when we were staying in the hostel in Hualien, the owner recommended we try this. It kind of looks like a cola knockoff, doesn't it? We'll see. It might be nice. Who knows? All right, we've got the goods. I really like how when they pizza the food up for you, they put it on like a little food court style tray, and then they bring it over to you. So we're gonna try these dumplings first. Oh, that is so hot. Which look really good, and I think this is probably a soy sauce of some kind. Oh, it's so good. Mm. It's full of pork. It's got a little bit of fat in there. It's just giving it like a super flavorful, like juicy texture. And then I think there's some like green onions or spring onions in there. And the outside, it's just so chewy. Oh, it's delicious. It's really, really good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they're good. Yeah, 
that's good, you know. What's it taste like? It's got a slightly minty, herbally taste. Uh, you know what I'm going to compare it to? Like a stronger Dr. Pepper. Oh, it's got like a medicinal taste. Mm -hmm. A little bit licorice-y, a little bit like Dr. Pepper as well, like you said. Never tasted anything like that, but it's nice. So this is the Korean style fried chicken. Mm. It's just like a chicken nugget with Korean spice on it. You can tell it's real chicken breast as well. It's nice and white. It's got a few little chili flakes on there. It's got a little tiny kick to it. This is really good. A nice little snack. Tell my favorite part about this whole thing right now is how many people are watching from over there. <laughs> Imagine stopping at the lights and getting entertainment like this. <laughs> We've got classic Taiwanese barbecue pork bun. And straight out the bag, it's looking tasty. Oh my gosh. That pork again is like the pork that you had on the rice ball earlier. Extremely tender, really sweet. Again, it's got like a sweet glaze on it, like a honey glaze. It's really nice. Okay, now we're gonna try the dumplings. We think they're soup dumplings. I'm really hoping they're soup dumplings because we tried Michelin star soup dumplings in Taipei. They were amazing. I don't think they're gonna be anything on that level, but uh, it comes with more soy sauce, so I'm gonna pop it on. Mmm, they are soup dumplings. They are, they are excellent. They are really good. Again, for me, it's the texture. It's a really nice texture. Slightly smoky. The, the pork inside is really juicy, really flavorful. And the outside of the dumplings got that nice, sticky, chewy texture. Really, really nice. How has that come from a 7 Eleven? That is so good. Okay, I'm actually starting to get full now, but still got the onigiri, which. I'm terrible at opening. <laughs> this is pork floss on a giri. The way they make it is they take pork shoulder, cook it in sugar and soy sauce, and then they shred it up really finely, and it's almost like a fluffy, cottony texture to the pork. Mm. A bit of a trend here. Or a lot of the foods are are sweet, even the meaty foods are sweet, which I don't mind at all. And finally we've got dessert. <laughs> crisps. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this? Never. Strawberry souffle crisps. Walker brings out some crazy flavours, but not this crazy. I can't see any way that it can be good. I really can't. I can't explain how weird it is to open a bag of crisps and smell strawberries. <laughs> I wonder if Taiwanese people like these. If you Taiwanese, comment down below and tell us if you like them. That is so strange. That is so odd. I kind of like them. <laughs> defies all logic of a crisp. <laughs> I love savoury food and I love crisps. I don't love this. <laughs> okay, we've just come back to the hotel. Just gonna chill here for a couple of hours before we go back out for dinner. And we've just added up what we spent so far. So breakfast was eight pounds, 22 pence, and lunch was eight pounds, 49 pence which gives us a total of £16.71 so far for the day, for both of us. But I still think it's pretty good, mm -hmm. consider the amount of stuff we got. We've decided to set ourselves a little mini challenge to spend £25 or under, which means we've got £8.30 to spend on dinner. I think we can do it easily. Yeah. 
Okay, we're back in the 7 Eleven that we came to this morning. It's a really good one. We've got 300 Taiwanese dollars to spend. We've got a really good beer selection here, there's loads of craft beers. German passion fruit beer. They've got all like these Korean ones as well. We've got Peru Dog. And look at how nice some of the packaging is. Just makes you want to try them all, but that wouldn't be responsible. These beers are 109 dollars each, but it's two for 110. So basically, buy one get one free on beer. Guess what they've got? One sweet potato left. No way. I'm gonna get one. <laughs> it's fate. Yeah, I know. It's meant to be. Yeah, you've gotta get it. <laughs> Even if it takes us over budget. So I have tried some of these before, but the flavours look amazing. Look at this. Gold. I mean, the size of that. This guy's the winner. I'm going to go for this. Yeah, I've been wanting to try this fried chicken curry udon. See, if we were being healthy, we would go for stuff like this, but... We're not. For this as well. Beef curry and rice. With oh some egg God. on the side. But that looks so good. It does. I think I'm sold on this one. Oh, Jamie's paying, but look at all these. Oh, they look so good. Alright, they've packed it for us. Just slightly awkward because we're at the exact same table. This is our table now. <laughs> But it's a really useful table because right after dinner we need to print documents off from here. College 10 11 got everything. Okay, we're gonna try the sweet potato first. What the hell? Why is it shaped like a chicken drumstick? It looks ancient. <laughs> World's <laughs> oldest laughing. sweet potato. <laughs> it's just a anchor era sweet potato. <laughs> anyway, it smells good. <laughs> like that, apparently. Mm. Do you know what that tastes like? Sweet potato. No, that's actually seriously good. <laughs> it's like the softest sweet potato I've ever had, and it's kind of buttery. That is genuinely the perfect snack. Right. I'm gonna fill this up. They've got hot water tanks over there. They're gonna block everything off on them. So while Hannah's waiting for uh, ramen noodles to cook, I'm gonna try this beef curry and rice. It smells unreal. And it looks unreal. It looks like an omelette in there. Mm. I have to say. The omelette and the curry look and smell amazing. The beef doesn't look so great, but hoping it tastes better than it looks. The egg is less like an omelette and more like undercooked scrambled eggs, kind of. Like it's really mushy texture. And curry is delicious. It does taste like katsu. It's not spicy at all. Try this beef. Okay, the beef's a nice surprise, it is quite nice. It is a little bit fatty, but it's really tender, really thin. It's nice. It's a really satisfying meal, and this was like two pounds, so. I think my noodles are done. What I love about these ramen noodles, well not ramen, but you know, is the absolute size <laughs> of the chunks of beef that you get. It's gonna be too hot to eat, but the size of that. And it's so tender, like ridiculously tender. And you get all these like herbs on top. Um, and this sauce is like a chili beef. So it's got that nice warm spice to it as well. Mm. It's so good. I could eat this every day, every day. Let me tell you, beef of that quality has no right to be coming in an instant noodle pot like that. It's so good. 
okay so that's the end of the video feeling very full me too it's been very a happy. big food day mm -hmm. i'm glad that we tried a bunch of new things yeah so <clears throat> In total, we spent 894 Taiwanese dollars on food, which is 24 pound 31p. So obviously, 7-Eleven is not the, the absolute cheapest way to eat in Taiwan. There's plenty of night markets, plenty of just street vendors on the side of the road um, that are just as good quality, and it probably costs you a little bit less than this. So I'm happy with yeah. that. Like, yeah, I'm going to miss Taiwan 7-Eleven. We're getting up early tomorrow, we're going to go and see Sun Moon Lake. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was something a little bit different and it was fun to do. Yeah. So yeah. See you in the next one. See you in the next one.